reason why you didn't chill out. See what happened? Got it. Chill out as well. Curtis King. Music producers, I brought you out here to the great outdoors to show you how to make a beat using Songjin. But I figured the best way to show you this tutorial would be to take you away from the house. Plus, I needed it. Hi, Nas. <laughs> By the way, if you've never heard of Songjin, Songjin is an AI-powered iOS beatmaker app. It generates an endless amount of unique, royalty-free music tracks. Or as they like to say it, it's your co-producer. I don't have any music equipment with me right now. Some AirPods and my phone. When you first get on the Songjin app, you're going to be asked what genre of music you want to make. I think what's super dope about this feature is it allows you to try different genres that maybe you're not familiar with and test it out. I think for this example, we're going to do something that fits the vibes. How about a little lo-fi? Now that we chose that, let's go ahead and click new lo-fi loop. Let's go to another one. I think that's the one I want to mess around with. Once I choose the AI generated melody that I like, I can go ahead and change some settings here in the app. For starters, I can change the key if I like. I kind of want to change the BPM too, so let's do that. Here's where I can actually customize some of the sounds that were generated for me. I like the chords, I like the bass, and I like the drums. Even though I'm going to export this and use my own drums, the lead is kind of what isn't really clicking with me right now, so let's change that. Let's make it a flute. Now, if we maneuver back here to this main screen, we're able to tweak around even certain patterns that are in here. Click here on the top. Now, once you're here in the editor, you can even change things like the swing on the drums. You know how important that is to me. Nice. Let's change the pattern on the lead. Let's see if we can find something a little bit more interesting. If you hit this randomize feature, it'll give you another lead over the top. You know what I like about it is that these sounds don't sound so stocky that they can't give you a vision of what you would actually want to use when you export the beat and replace the instruments. Some really nice sounds. Want to change around the drums a little bit. I like that. Let's randomize a pattern. These are nice. It'd be even crazy if they had Curtis King drums on here, huh? Next thing, we can actually change the octaves of some of these sounds in case they're not hitting where we want them to hit. Oh, yes. You know what I like about it is that here I am outside gathering ideas and this gives me a palette that I can now export and import directly into FL Studio or whatever my DAW is. This will be dope just to kind of pass the time, see how the vibe of the environment kind of inspires something new, take it home and do something with it. Last but not least, we can even do some mixing all within the app before we export it. Here, I can change the volume of the lead, the chords, the bass, or the drums. I can change the overall loudness as well as add a clipper to it. Shout out to Songjin for that. It also allows you to generate full songs if you want to let the AI generator kind of fix it up for you and give you some different ideas of how to arrange your final beat. We're not going to do that, but we are going to add this to our collections. So any event that I don't have internet connection, like I don't right now, then I'll need to save this to my collections. Click save. Now you click up here and you'll see it's saved. And that's it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this composition home after a little bit of Family time. Hi, love. Hi, Nas. Say hi. Hi, <laughs> I'm gonna export this. See how it sounds on the big speakers at home, and uh, put songs into the test. All right. Now that I'm here, let me download the MIDI. Now that the MIDI's downloaded, let's go to here to FL Studio and let's import it straight here. All right. Now that I'm importing the data, 
I can now choose what I want to import and I think I want to import everything. Why not? Now keep in mind, this is just with the flex presets and even FPC, which is also a stock plugin within FL Studio. I want to replace all these. So let's go through the process of that and see what we can make this sound like. What a pleasure it is to live in 2022. I can make content while I'm out with my family, and I can also make beats directly from my phone. Shout out to Songjin once again. If you want to get signed up, make sure you go to the description down below. There's going to be some special things coming up from Songjin and Curtis King in the very near future. So my suggestion, just try it out and see how I can help what you're already working on. Make sure you hit the like button as well as leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.